Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. Um, I am back from my break, my vacation, which means this is the first time I'm playing Demon Souls, and I've turned my PS5 on in like a week, so it's handled it surprisingly well. It did not explode. I came back to the Maiden, uh, as you can see. The reason is that um, I picked up 22,000 souls in the last area, just kind of like going through shit. And I thought that would be a shame to waste. Uh, so, yeah, why not, you know, level up while we can, get stronger. And Patches is here now, which is godlike. I did mention this, right? That Patches is by far the best grass trader. He's the best weed dealer in town uh, by a mile. So one of the reasons you shouldn't really kill him, honestly. Um, it's, it's a bad idea to kill Patches in this game, honestly. Even though you want to. Even though you really want to. It's not the best. It's not the smartest. I decided that the area to go and tackle here would be or will be the Tunnel City. The reason is that um, this place is full of upgrade materials and upgrade materials are the bread and butter for the other areas and you saw in the previous episode that my weapon was still not dealing the best like, like biggest amount of damage possible so Oh, that's what I I didn't see him. Uh, yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to the Tunnel City, and if nothing else, this area is shit. This area is good for uh, some farming. Okay, that's how you do it. You gotta dodge. Even though... I do feel that... Area-wise... In terms of area design, I mean... This is not the most interesting place in the game. Uh, it has its shortcomings. And that it's kind of just like... Uh, a little bit boring. The theme of it is to descend... Into the heart of the... Like cave or whatever and it just kind of descends into same-ish looking tunnels after a while oh I know about you that was a terrible parry and that did a lot of damage I wanted this parry to be like something my life depended on hey another pickaxe that we're never gonna use. There is no dual wielding in this game, so... No rocking the dual wielded pickaxes. Pickaxe I. No, it's just pickaxes. Shit. This looks better. And this looks very, very different. Wow, this looks different. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is by far the most different looking area. Holy shit. I'm I'm kind of speechless. This is not what this whoa shit. I'm trying not to fall off. I've had plenty of those already. Um Yeah, um just I don't know what to say. This is very cool. Please make a Dark Souls remastered as well, guys, where you can include like a lot of the stuff. Like a lot of improvements such as this. This is not where you go down, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay, thank fuck I didn't start just like dropping like an idiot. Um, because that would have been swift death. Holy shit, this looks good. I am a big fan. And the reason I'm a big fan is that, as I mentioned, this area had, or has, in the vanilla game, has a tendency to look kind of boring. Just like some random ass caves. 
And this is... This is not boring. This is the last thing you can say. Or the farthest thing from boring. This leads back to the two black phantoms, if I'm not mistaken. Does it? Needs to upgrade materials. And yeah, this is where you pick up the standard upgrade materials. So these are the ones like you really want. You really want to go for. That was a little bit nerve-wracking. This has to lead back there, if I'm not mistaken. But still, you know, just the tendency of this area is to descend into this, like tunnel crawling after a while. Luckily, I've been playing Demon Souls for a while now. Shit, have I not been picking up my Crystal Lizards? I think I didn't pick up one. Whatever. Yeah, so we have these... These are the Angabunga twins. Because they use the clubs. Those two from fucking wa wacky races. You know which ones. Um, I probably shouldn't get hit by that. The, but they're not that difficult to kill. And the thing is, red phantoms in this game... ...come in two varieties, really. There is these ones that kind of just like show up throughout the game. Which uh, tend to be piss easy, honestly. And there's the ones that are um, like special, tied to events like Black World Tendency or... I think there are even some tied to White World Tendency. And those ones are insane. So really that's the two flavors. But what I was gonna say is that I've been playing Demon Souls for a hot minute now. And this is by far the best weapon ever I've found to kill Crystal Lizards. Crystal Lizards can be kind of a pain in this game. Um, they're hard to hit. But this weapon makes it an absolute cakewalk. And that's the stuff we want to see. I think there was one more that I missed up here. I could. There it is. I mean, you don't want to leave this behind. If you don't know how this works... And maybe I don't even know how this works exactly. If I remember correctly in this game... I just want to see if this works. In this game, Crystal Lizards... There's a set number of Crystal Lizards that spawn... Per stage. Depending on something. I think boss is killed, maybe. And... If you, like, don't manage to kill them... Fuck. Okay, it doesn't work. If you don't manage to kill them... Um... Before they disappear, like, two, three times... They're gone. And even if you kill them, like, you kill a crystal lizard in this game... A new one will spawn in the same place. Like, that's no issue up to like a certain limit so that's how it works do not ask me on the details of the that mechanic because i honestly have zero clue uh it's one of those demon souls things you know that's like a little bit obscure and i use little bit very loosely because it's very obscure actually But that's just how this game is. It ain't no thing. So I gotta like, you know, like really re... Adjust myself here because... I don't know, man. Oh, hey! It's our friend Patches. This is a nice fellow now. We've become friends.
Oh sure. Let's do it. God, he's creepy. He's very creepy in this game. Yeah, Patches, you know what? You seem like a nice fella. In fact, I think we've become best buddies there in the Nexus. I bought wheat from you. Whoops. What an asshole. Oh, don't worry, Patches. Luck is not a factor in this story. Only skill. Where does the little bitch run off to? I know he runs off somewhere to hide or some shit. Damn, where does he go? Like, I'm either blind, which has been known to happen. I'm gonna take, like, full responsibility if I didn't see him. Because, shit, you gotta move him back to the Nexus, right? Or does he go back on I thought he grovels and, like, apologizes to you here as well. There he is. Little bitch. What the hell? I don't like these new patches. Yeah, but it does give you something pretty useful, which is the flame resistance ring. Cool. Well, thanks, patches. Should have picked up perfection in... The Binding of Isaac. That gives you plus 10 luck. This is one of the best mechanical changes in this game. Uh, in the remaster so far. I wish they'd done more like this. Uh, touched on the... Oh, fuck. Well, this is not a problem. Uh, touched more on the upgrade system as well a little bit. Just like they did with this weight limit. Because... There was nothing more annoying in this game than when your uh, weight, like, capacity kept getting exceeded. The main reason for it being uh, upgrade materials, which are very heavy. And it was just constantly, war back, come here, war back, come here. And it was just, it was just annoying, especially if you wanted to farm. You kept constantly running out of space, so this is... Uh, really good mechanical change and I I wish they would have done more am I what oh okay fuck you I'll deposit all my shit there is not nothing to worry about so yeah like this kind of quality of life change I wish they had extended it to other stuff as well because I feel like it wouldn't have done much to the gameplay mechanics, honestly. If they'd retouched the upgrade system to be a simple, like, 1 through 10, kind of working on the same system as the other games type deal. But, you know, listen. As I've said, and I'll keep saying, this game looks phenomenal. And for me, I know people, there are a shit ton of arguments initially about whether this game is worth it or not. Um, for me, it's worth it because, as you guys know, I, I love Demon Souls. And the biggest issue with Demon Souls was always convenience. That there was just like no convenient way to play it. Because the emulator kind of blows the original, if you don't have your PS3 set up constantly, which I don't have space for. Uh, where I live, it's just, you know, not convenient. And the very fact that this game, this makes Demon Souls 
like easy to access and convenient to play is you know a gift of in gift on its own especially for a demon souls buff like me and this is where the boy gets lost every single time uh so do not so do not worry because there's gonna be some problems here my la my lack of navigation always gets exposed whenever I play this game especially this stage and they gave you all guide stones as well and like try to at least make something out of this bitch and I never do oh yeah you get a dragon longsword here which is actually amazing for the other areas it has uh, default fire infusion, so it's pretty good. Oh, hey there. Oh, they put one of the big ones here? Fuck. There you go. This looks so much better. Even though I never pick up this shit here. Um, as you can see, one of the sort of issues with the. Oh, that's new. That wasn't a thing before. One of the issues with this area is that you don't really fight many enemies. Uh, you kind of just like run past everything. And I'm not sure I'm going the right way. The thing is, we have basically the most difficult boss of the game coming up. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not really true. Some people say this is the most difficult boss in the game. Yeah, that's the one. I'm going the right way. So the question is, shouldn't I go back and upgrade my shit? Oh, by the way, these guys, you can kill these guys. It's just you gotta basically have some ranged weapon. Get the hands of... Whoa, okay, okay. I did not expect that to deal that much damage. Cool. Well, the game has decided for me. Oh yeah, I never read these. Uh, city of miners who maintained the giant tunnel. Long ago, the efforts of the hard-headed burrowers allowed buried... Blah, blah, blah. God, I can't even read. Okay. Below the smithing grounds of Stonefang, the Tunnel City is a system of pathways that gave the city its name. Legend has it that deep inside, beyond the molten swamps, is a grave for dragons. Dragons. I'm sure we're never gonna see a dragon in this game ever. They just don't show up, you know. And there was a lie. So, I wanted to check, because I have a feeling, if we do things correctly, I have a slight suspicion that and don't worry this is this is all leading to something uh, I have a slight suspicion that this burrower armor is gonna have pretty good fire defense hell yeah it does it has mad fire defense, actually. And it's heavy. Because we fat now. Cool, that's a, not an issue. Uh, what we can do is we can go the fur full burrower set. And just, you know, switch it out. God, I'm terrible at navigating this. And I really wonder. Because I feel like we're going to need this for... Okay, yeah, th this, is, this is heavy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The armbands, I, I, I can live without the arm armbands, honestly. Hey, this actually looks fairly good. Uh, the, uh, the only thing is this kind of like target on the kilt. 
or like the front piece. It's a little goofy looking. Although, you know. This game and goofy looking go hand in hand. I want to repair all my shit. And we are going to get this pickaxe. What don't I have? Oh shit, this needs sharp stone. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do you sell sharp stone? He's not gonna sell it, right? Nah. Uh, annoying, annoying, annoying. It's okay. Does this initial version of the guy sell sharp stone? We're gonna check it out. If not, we have amazing load times, courtesy of the PS5. So it ain't even gonna be a problem. Fuck, he does it. Yes, he does. How many did it say? I'm just gonna clear him out, because I have the cash. This has to be enough. This has to be enough um, to at least get it up to plus six or plus seven. I don't think I've ever gotten a bother to get a weapon to plus ten in this game. Uh, the other thing is that it's not needed. We are going to use the... We can use the Iron Demon. I mean, yeah, the Iron Demon Soul. Many of the Demon Souls, most of them are used to... Come on. Use for magic. So I need large and chunks. I should be even okay with this if I can pick up a couple of more large shards. Because the normal shards are very easy to get. That, that ain't the problem. And what we also need is the following. I know. I know what I need. I just remembered. And I think this guy sells it too. Do you? Yes, you do. You sell it. I'll get your Sage Freak for you, don't worry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get Water Whale. So this is the trick to this boss. This boss is a perfect example of you just needing to have the right tools to kill him. And I'm very confident now. Possibly might not be so confident in a little bit. We'll see. I want to check out if I have any weapon buffs that are non-fire based. I don't think I do. And that sucks. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, the crystal lizard respawned here. And the reason for that is I still have a couple of like, I don't know, charges. Or whatever. You can kill these guys too. Because they, they drop some stuff as well. If I remember correctly. Nice. That's what we need. It's what we're looking for. That's exactly it. Whoa, okay. Chill. Thank fuck this is the damage type that works against them. Nice. And I swear down there is everybody's favorite weapon. I've gotten so many asks slash requests to use that weapon down there. The Dragon Bone Smasher, that I think when I make a second playthrough of this, which I am gonna do, don't worry, it's definitely gonna have to be a Dragon Bone Smasher uh, video because people are absolutely in love with that thing. It's like, give me the Dragon Bone Smasher, that's all we want. And you know, I'm the type to give the people what they want. 
I wouldn't deny the people their request. So... So, you know, just, just go for... Just stay patient. There will be a Bone Smasher playthrough. Eventually. I fucked up with this elevator. Because... This is the way to go. This takes a long ass time. Otherwise, you have to drop down constantly. And there's always a risk you're gonna miss. Your kind of drop off. And get yourself killed. And we really don't want to do that. Make sure to send this back. Souls lesson number one, send your elevator back. Oh, fuck. No. Don't even think about it, bitch. I got it. It's all that matters, and I don't know which way. <laughs> which way the way is. Oh shit, it's it's this way, right? What did I say about lack of navigational skills? Well... It's on full display again. But I think I've managed to nail it this time. It's really like... This, this part is like a fighting game 50-50. Like you just have to guess and... Most likely you're gonna be correct. The other reason people take issue with this area, uh, and because the boss is hard, uh, is this run back is not the quickest. Oh, you're still alive. There is a way to manage it, I think. Fairly well. Not here. I thought that's where you drop down and it's a shortcut. Turns out it's not where you drop down and that's not where the shortcut is. Cool. Well. Listen. You know the sketchhead motto is that everybody makes mistakes in their life. Soul's mistakes. This is why you send the elevator back. Because you might just, you know... Oh fuck, okay, well... You don't get as much invincibility as I remember. There's a little bitch here that escaped. Told you. Look at him scurrying. Nice. And again, because like a regular sharpstone is fairly easy to get, uh, I can just like worry about that. I'll just like purchase it, you know. And surprisingly, that still does something, uh, and that's a little worrying because, like, generally at this time, if what's it called, the crescent moon grass, still makes a dent in your HP. You might not have enough HP. Not that HP matters when you're a dodge god like me, but you know, it kinda it kinda does. Okay, so where did I screw this up? Let's think about this a little bit. We we got it up to this point. And I shouldn't have come up here. That that's the That's the lesson here. For your boy. Don't go up there. Keep going down. So I think what, what I was saying is that one of the thing, reasons people hate this area as well is because this boss is difficult by Demon Soul standards and people kept having to go through this place over and over and over again while the game was still fresh and it just kinda you know, you know how it is, rubbed people the wrong way it's like the smell to run back in Dark Souls 2 just a bit too much, these things are like unkillable 
I think you can do it via magic. Magic works pretty well against them. Cool. Hook a left. Can you hook a right? I don't think so. We're hooking a right right here. It might actually lead to the exact same place. And if it does, that would be very disappointing. Cool. And don't take the first tunnel, take the second tunnel. That's lesson number two. Yeah, you just gotta do a lot of sprinting. Yeah, just go by instinct. I've done this so many times, it should actually go by instinct. Sorry to make you sit through this. Normally I would cut this out. The only the reason I'm not cutting out is this out is that I wanna give you guys the authentic Demon Souls experience. And if you're a Demon Souls player, you're gonna go through this run back uh, once or twice. A little bit more than that, maybe. So it would be, I thought it would be unfair of me to not give you the authentic feeling of the pain that is this run back. You do get ephemeral eyes. This is almost a hint hint that you should turn back into human form, bitch, which we are going to do. First of all, it heals you. I mean, and this is a risk, but it also allows us to put on the flame protection ring, flame resistance ring. Um, I don't know. I guess we're okay. And the second thing we're going to do for sure is water veil up in here. And now we, oh shit, that looks so good. I'm curious about this boss. How he's gonna look, because he kind of looks stupid in the original. Oh yeah, he looks much better, I can already tell. Cool. It's the fucking Hulk. Yeah, he looks, he looks way better. I like it. I'm impressed. So this is Monsieur Flame Lurker. Who I'm dealing no damage to. Well, that's a slight problem. And the si other slight problem is I can't fucking see. Jesus. This is a unlocked camera boss for sure. Why am I dealing so little damage to him? This is this is shitty. Like this is an issue, boy. Z and girls. Fuck. Okay, there we go. God damn it. Ah. I don't know where I am. Switch late moon. Heal up. Hit him in the ass too, that's what you gotta do. Okay, we're gonna like readjust ourselves. He does stun though, which is one of the things that makes this boss slightly more manageable. What makes him slightly less manageable is that he does get faster as the fight goes on. And sort of more aggressive. Cool. 
cool. I've like taken a worryingly small number of HP, like small amount of HP from him. Come on, Mark. You've done this a million times before. Cool. Heal. Water rail really is the shit. Like, it makes the flame parts of his attacks completely trivial. And if you think the ground is doing damage, it's because it is. At least parts of it. Okay, so what happened there is I think his AI crapped out a little bit. Because uh, he, he went just full dummo there. Dummy thick. This guy is pretty thick though. For a flame demon. He's the thickest boy. I think we got this mostly. Yeah, he kind he kind of went stupid. He kind of went stupid on us. This is why I don't want to risk it, and I'm gonna heal. Might even rewater veil. Cool. Dress doesn't even matter. And he's dead. Yeah. Um yeah, that was the flame flame lurker. That is a difficult boss by Demon Soul standards. Uh as you can see, the real key here I would say is just proper preparation. PP. Proper prep. If you got like water rail, which is basically a, a, like something you can get for every class, uh, if you put a couple of points into intelligence, people using faith, they have like some different spell, I think protection it's called, which does the same thing essentially. And yeah, flame resistance ring. One of the hardest bosses in the game. There's three that really kind of like are considered a challenge. I'd say one is easier than this guy, and one is way harder. Um, the harder one is right there. Okay, cool. Well, that was Zone Two of Zone Two of Demon Souls. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. That was a cool. That that is a cool area. The redesign is really smooth. It looks way better. Uh, it's not as drab as this place as it used to be before, even though it's kind of the same tunnels and everything. Cool, we're gonna level up, we're gonna do all the usual in the next episode. Until then, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. I'm gonna change out of this bunk armor set because it kinda looks too point. Oh yeah, I had the armor on as well, don't forget that. If you did enjoy this episode of Demon Souls, as always, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.